All right, well, I guess I never really explained exactly what I did here. Now, this is a GTX 560 Ti 448 cores classified, which uses a GTX 480 PCB. You can tell because I think it's one of the very few NVIDIA cards that has this little cutout right here. But it uses a different GPU than the 480. But I think it has the same amount of RAM and everything. So everything as far as all the soldered RAM chips here and up here are all the same as a GTX 480. And then all the MOSFETs and all that stuff is over here, just like on a GTX 480. So what I did is bought a all copper Danger Den GTX 480 water block and it should bolt right on, no problem. Honestly, don't know if it's gonna work. I just figured it would because it's the same PCB, same setup. Why not, right? Well, we will see if it works. So I'm going to start disassembling this now. All right, so we're going to begin by taking out all these screws. There's a screw here. There's a screw up here. Then there's four screws around the GPU. And then there's another screw up here that holds on the tension or the bracket. I don't know if we have to take that off or not. I'm pretty sure we do. And then there'll be two more screws. One will be up here, and the other one will be here. If I can get my damn camera to focus. Focus, whatever, it's right there. You'll be able to see it. If you don't know what a screw looks like, then this video is probably beyond you. So now I'm going to take all those screws out. I'm not going to do it on camera because obviously, again, if you can't take screws out of something, then you probably shouldn't be attempting this in the first place. All right. Now I got the fan shroud off, which has two connectors when you take it off. First, it'll look like that. And then there'll be a fan, a fan header right here. And then... Or actually, I think that's actually for the light, the little EVGA logo. And then there'll be another one right here, which gets plugged in down here, which is for the fans. So now that's completely off of there, and you can see the uh, heat sink. Now, I would have thought for sure that this would have kept it cool enough, but it really gets pretty hot. But I do have a decent overclock on this thing. Right now I'm running at 900 megahertz on the core. And I can't honestly remember where I'm running the memory at. I think it's 2300 megahertz. And since it's GDDR5, I mean, just do the math. I'm bad at math. Anyway, now I'm going to get this heat sink off. Which will be done by taking out the four screws here. Now you're going to want to keep all the screws in a safe place in case you have to send the video card back for, you know, an RMA or something. You have to put it completely back together, which is kind of lame, but I'm hoping it's not going to die anytime soon anyway. So let's get those screws out and get that uh, heat sink off. All right, now we got the heat sink off, and you can tell it's a heat pipe design, but... I think they did a pretty terrible job on this thermal compound, if I'm honest. I'm kind of disgusted with that, but whatever, we're going to remedy all of that. But here's all of the uh, random RAM stuff, which didn't even have any heat sinks on it to begin with. There was nothing cooling it besides the air passing through this heat sink. So all that's going to be cooled by the water block. All of these MOSFETs and whatnot over here are going to be cooled as well. So now what you're going to want to do is wipe all of this thermal compound off. I'm just going to wipe it off here too, even though we're not going to put it back on just because it's dirty and we don't want to get it everywhere. But you definitely want to get all of it off of there, off the GPU. And for that, I'm going to honestly just use a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol but if you want to get really 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 crazy with it because the paper towel is obviously going to leave some residue behind you can use a microfiber cloth if you happen to have one that would be the best bet rubbing alcohol and uh and one of those cloths but i'm not that technical so i'm just going to do it my way all right we got that gpu clean 
And now it's time to cut thermal pads for all of these guys. There and there. And then you're just going to use thermal paste on all of the RAM and the GPU. Which I thought was kind of strange, but that's what the instructions say to do, so that's what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to measure the tape out and get that all cut and put on there. Alright, we got all of the thermal pads on there. I'm still leaving the one side on, so it doesn't just get a bunch of crap all over it. I'll unstick that right as I'm about to put the block on. So now it's time to move on to putting thermal compound on all the RAM chips and on the GPU. Alright, now this block ships with some normal, you know, thermal compound, but I'm going to be using Arctic Cool M MX4 instead. Alright, we got the thermal compound on. I probably used a lot more than I probably should have. I'm usually pretty bad at that. Still have to work on that, but whatever. Now what we got to do is, well, I've already got this uh, all out of the wrapping. I'm using a my random sap glove so I don't get fingerprints all over it when I touch it. But now you're going to want to put that onto this using the supplied screws and whatnot and washers. So, now I'm going to do that. Alright, I already got all the screws and whatnot in, but I just figured I would show this. This is how you're supposed to put the screws in. There will be a screw, a washer, and then an o-ring. So go screw, washer, o-ring. But, move that out of the way, and we have all of them in. There's four around the GPU. There's one up here, another one down here, and then one last lone one up there. Just get them started, get each one of them started. I like to start around the GPU in a cross pattern. And then don't tighten them all the way down yet. Just get them all started and then just slowly go around and tighten them. And do not over tighten them because you don't want to strip out the uh, block. So let's turn this around so everybody can see it. And that's what it looks like now. Has a little hole there for a capacitor to stick through. So there we go. Uh, I got the water block completely on there. Looks very, very nice. Makes the card weigh about five pounds, it feels like. <laughs> no, more like three pounds or something like that. I honestly don't know, but it's, it's heavy now. I'm so glad that my computer has them sticking up vertically instead of like this. Take a lot of strain off of the video card that way. All the strain will be back in the, uh, cool brass, massive brain fart. Can't remember what that's called, the bracket. <laughs> Could add that out, don't care enough to. So there we go. So now we are completely done with that. And now I've got to go to the store and buy some distilled water and whatnot before I can go any farther.